Okay, Jess. Okay, we are at a cemetery here in Jerusalem, and this is um, kind of a ironic grave here. It's of a, a German man named Oskar Schindler, and he was a, a, a hero to the Jewish people. Um, I want to read a quote by Oskar Schindler. He said, The persecution of Jews in occupied Poland meant that we could see horror emerging gradually in many ways. 1939, they were forced to wear Jewish stars. People were herded and shut up in ghettos. Then in the years 41 and 42, there was plenty of public evidence of pure sadism. Of people behaving like pigs, I felt like the Jews were being destroyed. I had to help them. There is no choice. Um, this is one of the most visited graves in Jerusalem. Um, and the stones on the grave is a Jewish tradition. They leave a stone to just show that someone came to, um, to visit and show their respect for um, the person they're visiting. And so you can see lots of people have come to to visit Oscar Schindler's grave. Um, Oscar Schindler was a factory owner and a Nazi party member. And uh, he was credited with saving the lives of 1,200 Jews during World War II. Um, after the war, he was considered a hero, but died in poverty in 1977 at the age of 66 in Germany. And it was his wish to be buried in Jerusalem. Um, in 1963, he was honored as a righteous Gentile at the Yad Vashem Holocaust Museum in Jerusalem. And in 1993, uh, Oscar Schindler and his wife Emily were officially recognized by the Yad Vashem as righteous among the nations. And that's actually inscripted right here on top of um, his grave. And then you'll see here in German, inscripted it says the unforgettable lifesaver of 1200 persecuted Jews.